against the grain um he did ask for a two on top so i'm gonna go back with the grain with the two close and i'm gonna try to get it um even as possible but i am gonna pick it out again before i cut it down some more and then um go with that two guy close i do apologize if i sign if i sound a little stuffy my allergies is going crazy because i went to georgia for a week and it was warm then i came back to where i live at which is Buffalo, new york and it's cold so that switching weather the way my allergies be acting jesus christ but we still gotta grind for y'all we still gotta put out that content y'all see i've been going hard with the shorts you feel me we've been getting views with the shorts so appreciate all the new subscribers as y'all can see we just hit 20k before the end of the year it is 2022 we going crazy okay we're gonna try to get to 50k by the end of this year maybe even 100k who knows but we just hit 10k on tiktok too so we growing all right we growing all right? everybody grows at their own rate and at, for as long as i've been doing this um I, I consider it pretty fast okay but anyways man now back to this tutorial now i'm brushing this hair down after i cut it down um this is a brand new brush it's not dirty or nothing like that it just it's fresh out the wrapper so we just brushing it down trying to get it laid down back to his wavelength um and his wave pattern now his crown grows in the swirl so y'all see how i'm brushing that swirl he might not brush it like that but that's the way his hair grows so that's how i'm brushing it all right so my client wants a mid drop fade so i'm starting at the bottom of the vertical bar and i'm just going to drop it all the way down um to where his neck is if that makes sense y'all just seen what i just did but i'm keeping that line low as possible from that um vertical bar because you can't really start it too low it's not like you're starting it at the bottom of the c cup this is at the bottom of the vertical bar okay this is why i consider it a mid drop fade the fade is going to be a little stretched out you know what i'm saying but uh we got it clean it's gonna look crazy i'm not gonna lie it's gonna look crazy in the middle of the haircut but when we get to the end it's gonna look okay okay so i'm doing my lever open about a half inch um this fade system is usually a fade system i use when i'm moving a little bit faster um if i have time like like a lot of time i have another another way i'll be showing you guys i already showed it on my channel once before but um like some sometimes i have extra time like maybe an hour like 45 minutes to an hour um i do a different fading technique so this is whenever you see me do this this is more of a, the quicker steps so right now i got my one guard op i mean my lever open with no guard going up about a half inch just following that shape of the previous guideline now i got my one guard open doing the same exact thing going up about a half inch going like just keeping that same exact shape from the first guideline 
So I started from the vertical bar and I'm dropping it all the way down just like I did when I did the ball guideline. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my client has a lot of indents um, on his head. And when I get done with the fade, you guys are going to see it. <laughs> uh, this is this is no shot to my client. He knows this already. We talked about it and all, but hey, indents can make a fade look um, like a couple times worse. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. But like I said, it was clean at the end. Now. We got him right, but... Y'all gonna see exactly where them endings at, okay? So now I got this two guard open, going against the grain, just deep bulking. Um, I'm basically just fading in the bulk to the top. I'm gonna come back around with the two clothes to blend it in to the fade. So the two guard open is blending it, blending it into the top. The two clothes is gonna blend it into the bottom. Now I got my one guard open. Y'all see we do laughing, man. It's hilarious. Got my one guard open, taking out that top guideline. Um, this texture, I ain't not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a struggle. Taking out that top guideline with this with this thick texture like this. If you have a 1.5 guard, um, and you cut a texture like this, just use it. I I didn't have I didn't have a 1.5 guard when I was cutting him, and I've been cutting him for a long time. Okay, so I know how to cut his hair with the system that I use. Now I'm using my zero guard clothes. I am adjusting the lever on this um, texture with this guard. Cause I'm using the wall guard zero guard clothes, not any other guard. So you just want to be careful and pay attention to what you're doing when using the zero guard clothes. As I can see, I'm trying to get into them indents, man. I'm trying. <laughs> but they, they make the fade look off, too. You're going to see at the end, it's going to look a little off. But, hey, in real life, the cut was stupid clean, though. I can't lie. Like, if, just because it was my cut, I can't lie. Like, I'm not saying it just because it's my cut. But when I seen when I seen him walk outside, the cut looked, looked real clean. I'm not going to lie. So now I'm about to have my lever closed. I'm going to take out that bottom guideline and I'm going to adjust the lever as I go up if I need to go up. After we do that lever close, I'm going to come back around, do some detail work, um, make sure it's cleaned up, and make sure this fade is, looks good as possible. Like I said before, I'm coming back doing the detail work, trying to clean up any dark spots, any indent areas where it looks darker. Okay, y'all can see, I did the same guidelines around the whole head, but in indent areas, they're darker. I'm going to try to light them up, but it's not really much I could do. Um, like I said, it don't look that bad in real life, but it does look bad in, on the camera or not as good. But at the end of the day, my client loves his cuts all the time. This is a little client, my boy Omar. Okay? We getting right every time. But on the front edge up, a lot of y'all are not going to like what I got to do. Okay? So I'm blending it in. I got the two clothes, I think. I'm trying to blend in that, the middle part to the thin sides. Now I'm going to come with the one open. And then I'm going to close it and use it on the very tips of that front part. 
Because the front part is the thickest of them all, so you want to attack that first. Now I got the hairline. I got the hairspray about to dry out the front line just to get it ready to be cut. Alright you guys, so you see where I'm starting at? I have to cut that widow's peak off, okay? I know a lot of y'all are going to say, you didn't have to cut that off. You cut it off, you pushed them back, blah, blah, blah. Listen, my client, me and my client have been through this. Okay, for almost three years, okay. I'm cool, he's cool, he know what I have to do to the front. The, we know the sides are thinning, that's why I didn't push the thin sides back like that, okay. I get my client crispy every time. He just has to live with that, um, with that widow's peak mark. There's nothing we can do, okay. He was born with it, and the uh, only way he's gonna get a straight line is if he cut it off, and that's what he wants, okay. And if y'all think I'm lying, <laughs> oh my, you can comment by yourself, okay? You can tell them yourself, all right? But y'all can clearly see, no enhancements, this lineup is clean. You can see that, um, the Widow's Peak mark, but we are going to use the razor, and I did use the shaver on it too. So right now, I'm doing a different type of enhancement. This is, um, hair color, okay? I don't use this can anymore. I have a different can. It's like hair fibers in a can. That one blends better to me um this one is like kind of like paint almost and it leaves my hands um black I make mean, my my nails look dirty and stuff so if y'all been seeing that lately um this is what it's from but i changed the can so it's not gonna look like that from here on out once you once you see a black can that's how you know it it's a um a newer video but right now i have my white barber magic pencil just to create some contrast between the lineup and the skin um, a lot of you guys might ask why didn't I use the tan line uh, My client is too light for the tan line It would have showed It would have showed up yellow And we don't want that on the front end up So I use white And then I'm going to use the razor to clean it up And I didn't show it But I did use the shaver like um, Right on the Widow's Peak area Just to make it last a little longer And so it doesn't like Look like he just had a Widow's Peak there Shout out to Crispy Lines. They have some of the best razors that I ever used, man. And he got some new razors coming out, so y'all stay tuned. Them drinks is fire. Now I'm just clear, cleaning up his beard. Nothing too crazy, just something real natural. It took me forever to get him to keep his beard. He didn't want to do it at first. <laughs> so now I'm just doing a freehand trim on the top. This is how you finish out the cut. I did do a little bit more detail work after I did this just to clean it up. But pretty much y'all, this is the cut. Alright you guys, y'all see my boy came in looking rough, but we had to get it right. We cut his hair off, gave him a nice blurry fade, and we fixed that widow's peak. Let me show y'all what it looked like after. You too, it's your boy Wavy Kid Kev. This is the cut. Let me know what y'all think, okay? Let me know if y'all, if how y'all feel about the hairline. I know I'm gonna have some mixed opinions, but got my boy right, alright, the line up is straight, y'all can see them Indians with the tracker areas, I know, I know, I, it was nothing I could do in the moment, you know what I'm saying, but we got him right, he's happy, I'm happy, as long as the client happy, I'm good, but yeah, if y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, wavy, underscore, kev, and we out, deuces.